Hey everybody, Evan from Nubs Nook here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about guinea pigs' internal body temperature, uh, housing requirements, and whether or not they should be kept exclusively outside. Now, I am not. I am of the opinion that they should not be kept outside. I know that it's some, somewhat of a controversial topic. There's not a whole lot of videos here on YouTube about it. Um, and I don't think that they should be kept outside for several reasons. Uh, one of which is that they are native to South America, specifically uh, the region of Peru. And, which means that they're used to a much warmer and drier climate than what we have here in the U.S. or what's in the U.K. or Canada. Um, which is where I'm assuming that most of you guys who are watching this video will be from. Um, they're just not built to be in our climate. That's the thing. They have an internal, or guinea pigs have an internal temperature of 99 to 103.1 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 37.2 uh, to 39.5 degrees Celsius. Um, in contrary, if you want to compare that to us, humans have, ooh, sorry about the shake, Humans have an internal body temperature of about 98.6 or, you know, 37, or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius, which means the cold actually affects them much more than it affects us. So think about, you know, if you have a fever and you go outside and it's slightly cold out, you're going to feel much more, well, the cold is going to affect you more. Um, that's a bad analogy, but... The point is, their internal body temperature is higher, they're used to being in a warmer climate, it, it's not good for them to not be in that warm climate if they're outside. Um, let me see. The housing guidelines from the Humane Society of the United States list the ideal temperature for guinea pigs at 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the equivalent of 18.33 degrees Celsius to... Uh, 23.89 degrees Celsius. So basically, the coldest that you should ever keep your guinea pig at is 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18.33 degrees Celsius. Anything colder than that, their immune system is slightly jeopardized. Um, and I know they're animals. I get that a lot. People are like, they're animals, they should be able to be outside. Well, yes and no. Like, yes, they're animals, they should be able to be kept outside, but they should be able to be kept outside in the habitat that they're native to, to temperatures that they're used to. And unless you live in South America, around Peru, or in, in or around Peru, you're not going to have the proper weather to house them all year, outside all year long. Um, sorry about my chair, it's squeaking. And then I also get, well, they've adapted. Well, they haven't, though. Like, maybe they've adapted a little bit. Like, maybe our guinea pigs that are domesticated now are slightly better at handling the temperature than, um, you know, their ancestors from Peru. But that the process of adapting to weather takes a really, really long time. And guinea pigs just haven't been exposed to our climate for long enough for it to, for them to be, for, for them to flourish as much as they would in that natural climate. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, if you have a guinea pig and that your guinea pig likes to go outside, that you should never take them outside anymore or that you should get rid of them and give them to somebody in Peru. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, in order to keep them happy and healthy, you can take them outside as long as everything is completely secure. Hold on, I'm hearing a weird noise. Okay, not sure what that was. Anyways, um, as long as you keep them completely secure, uh, you keep them away from 
predators, you are there monitoring them. You make sure that they can stay out of the rain and stay dry because Peru is a warm, dry climate. Unlike the UK, which is, you know, a little bit colder and wet. Or like the US, which is cold and wet and hot and... I live in the Midwest region of the United States and we get all kinds of weather. It, it's just, it's not good to keep them out in that in that because it can jeopardize their immune system due to the air being too cold and dry. This happens with us too. We get cold and so our body has to work harder to fight against the cold and our skin gets dry and if your skin is dry that's your body's first layer of defense against bacteria and viruses all that and our skin gets dried out. Guinea pig skin can get dried out really quickly too and they can be much more susceptible to illnesses. Um, other reasons to keep them indoors is, or to, you know, to keep them from being outdoors anyway. Uh, do you have issues with predators? Um, I know my grandparents used to keep their rabbits outside and they had one very sweet rabbit. His name was Louie. He was a lop-eared, he was just a wonderful little creature. Um, and their neighbor's dog got out and he was in his hutch, uh, perfectly safe in his hutch. I don't advocate using hutches, but this is just what he was in. Um, and the neighbor's dog came over and barked at him and freaked him out. He never actually came in contact with the rabbit, but freaked him out enough that it gave him a heart attack and he died. Um, and it was really, really sad. And we all love our little creatures. We, we don't want them to be hurt. So there's that. Um, let me talk a little bit about hutches, because if I don't, I'm going to regret it. Uh, I'm not in favor of keeping any animal in a hutch, because the simple fact is that most of them that are on the market are just... Actually, I have not come across one that is actually big enough. Um, they're, they're very small. Uh, most of them have a wire mesh flooring which is really bad for guinea pigs. Um, I'm not super familiar with rabbits, but I'm pretty sure that it's not good for them either. The only slightly positive argument that I've heard for that is if they're being kept in there so that they don't, or if they're being kept on wire, it's so that they don't have urine buildup underneath their feet and then they get urine burns on their feet. So, okay, that kind of makes sense if you never clean out your cage. Um, which is not recommended because with all small animals, um, rabbits, I don't know if they specifically are prone to respiratory infections, but I know that most small animals are. So, and it's just, it's just nasty to keep your animals in urine all the time. So, don't go for a hutch, they're too small, and you never want to have anything with wire flooring for your guinea pigs. Oh, what else did I have here? Okay, um, another thing is if they're outside and they're in any place where there could be rain, um, where there's going to be a lot of moisture, or anything surrounding them, it doesn't even have to be like on them, like they don't have to be getting rained on. But if they're out in a shed or if they're out in a garage and there's moisture coming from the rain, that could encourage um, fungi growth, like ringworm, and again jeopardize their immune system because they're used to being in a warm, dry, dry environment. Um, another reason to not keep them outside, parasites, mites, all that kind of stuff. They have a much, much higher risk of getting that kind of thing. Um, if they're housed outside all the time. And it's just, it, you don't want to have to deal with parasites and mice and guinea, or mites and guinea pigs if you don't have to. It, it's a hassle. Um, I haven't actually personally had to deal with that yet, which is good. Um, I've heard stories of other people having to deal with that. It's a whole thing. You have to take them to the vet. Just, it's, it's something to be avoided. Um, it can also take them, the guinea pigs, much longer to get used to you. If you 
have just bought or if you have just adopted them and you're bringing them home and you want them to bond with you and you want to tame them if you keep them in a house outside uh, you're gonna be much less likely to be around them as much and since you're not around them as much they're not gonna get used to you as fast so there's that it's also harder to monitor their health which with guinea pigs is incredibly important because if you can't monitor their health um, very regularly they can get sick really quickly and it can turn bad really quickly and again if you're being if you're keeping them outside that moisture or either the moisture or the dry cold air um, is really really bad for them it's really bad for their immune system they're not meant to function like that and uh, once a health problem develops and if you don't catch it right away it could possibly be the death of your pig which is really sad um, I think that's pretty much everything that I had to cover sorry I kinda ran through it well I guess not fast this is already at 11 minutes but uh, if you have any questions about anything that I've said here or anything guinea pig related in general please leave them in the comments below I will do my best to get to them as soon as possible um, I'm not a vet though so don't don't leave like health health questions and stuff go to uh, a forum go to a group on Facebook and if it's something that looks like it might be serious at all please see a, uh, a good exotics vet and they will be able to hopefully help you out much more than I ever could um, uh, let's see another thing if you are interested in liners like the ones that you see here or tunnels or snuggle sacks um, I offer all of those in my Etsy shop and the Etsy shop is called Nub's Nook uh, I'm gonna leave a link to it down below and um, the sales from that go towards housing that nah, not housing um, the the sales from that go towards supporting uh, all the cute little critters that we have here and also it goes towards a fund which is going to be used to create an animal shelter hopefully within the next few years um, I'm hoping that as soon as we as soon as we're able to move from we're in kind of a small place right now but as soon as we're able to move I'm hoping to start be able to start fostering and then uh, once we can start fostering I or shortly after we start fostering I would like to be able to start my own shelter um, oh what else was it going to say yeah uh, I have liners and drip pads and tunnels and uh, I don't have the tunnels that you see here actually listed in my shop right now but if you would like them or if you would like anything similar to it uh, send me a message on Etsy. I'm always happy to do custom orders. I do basically any size or shape of liner that you can think of unless it is a primary liner for a cage that is below 2x3. I don't do primary cage liners that are below 2x3 anymore aside from like drip pads and I do 1x2s and 2x2s and things but those are not meant to be regular liners. Those are meant to be uh, supplements to the liners that you already have in a much larger cage. I'm not in favor of keeping guinea pigs in anything smaller than a 2x3. Uh, yeah, with that said, you can check us out on Instagram and we have a Facebook, but that doesn't get updated super often. Uh, again, just uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, the boys love their new tunnels. I just finished them today. So they're super excited. Anyways, uh, have a good day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.